CNN.com. Recent polls show that some Americans have reservations about getting vaccinated so soon. Elise Haas is digging deeper and spoke with a vaccine expert and researcher in Oregon about how the vaccine was developed within a year. She joins us live with what she found out. Elise. Ken, some people may confuse the speed in which this vaccine was created with recklessness, but the OSU professor of pharmacy that I talked to says that couldn't be further from the truth. If anything, this vaccine is backed by rigor, science, and decades of research in mRNA technology, which is his specialty. So here are some key points that contributed to getting a vaccine within a year. Initial research suggests that there are at least six strains of the virus that cause COVID-19, but that the mutation rate is low, making it easier to develop a vaccine. COVID-19's infection rate and the immediate economic impact that shut the world down most certainly accelerated the vaccine's development. I mean, people around the globe are, were working together to solve this crisis. OSU professor of pharmacy says both COVID-19 vaccines not only went through all three clinical trials like normal, unlike usual, they garnered tens of thousands of participants showing data with more than 94% efficacy with no serious side effects. The clinical trials, like all clinical trials were conducted phase one, phase two, phase three. The, the only thing was like some of the trials were conducted in parallel. Manufacturing was started while waiting. Usually industry doesn't start manufacturing before phase three comes in. But because of this pandemic, uh, you know, all those kind of things were happening. And another thing that struck me when I was talking to the Oregon Health Authority, for instance, their officials tell me that the reason most vaccines take such a long time to develop is because researchers simply don't have enough money to do the trials. That's what it comes down to. So the funding from Operation Warp Speed is what made this science research possible to save lives. So corners weren't cut, roadblocks were removed, and it's really important to distinguish the difference. Ken and Jenny. All right. Thank you, Elise. Well, there's more good news.